My name is Longi David Ariba. I'm 12 years old and I'm in Jerusalem. I'm a programmer, especially in Python and React Native. I'm from the family of the Ayubas, and one day I hope to change the world with programming. Um, Longi, right from the time um, he was one, two, three years old, uh, what he does is that uh, if you keep your hands up, you come and carry it and start touching it. If you keep your remote, everything you take and start touching. You know, we will be asking him, please give me my handset, give me my handset. You understand? You know, you will expect a kid will damage your handset. Uh, so each time he touches my handset, I say, bring it, bring it. If you chase him from this side, you go to remote and start touching things. Actually, I will not lie to you. It's not fun to me because when he started, it was him and the father that really piqued interest because I was looking at it as if technology, all this ICT is going to learn some things that were not. But later on, I discovered that that's the way out for him and that's his passion. Actually, I learned programming through an app called SuluLearn. I learned programming on my own before I came to NHOP and I met people who had broader understanding of programming. On his own, using my handset, he was able to write some exams online on his own. And that was how the motivation and then the interest keep growing. In my years of programming, actually I've been able to develop a lot of apps, but out of all of these apps, there's only one that is up for grabs on Play Store. Actually, I've not yet worked on the iOS version, but it's going to be out very soon. It's an app that allows university students to sell their products in school. They don't have to be in the shop, sitting down under the scorching sun, waiting for someone to come and buy their products. While they can be in class, they can be selling their products and making their money. Uni just have already started using this, Uni Abuja and Futimina. I hope to go open up one day. And actually, one day I would like to go global because I can't just stop in Nigeria. He told me that, uh, uh, Mom, please, you know, that ICT is the way forward, that anybody that is not doing this, that he will develop an app that can do all these things, that he will be paying people, even doctors in the hospital, that why will he go and read medicine? Why he can develop an app that can treat people Everything that you want to do for people and you just pay. Is that they say children should focus on school and get jobs. But what I believe in is that children should learn what they want to do and make their own jobs. When Longji was 10 years old, he told me that um, in five years time, when he was 10 years old, he said in five years time, the so in five to 10 years time, the society would consider me an illiterate. I said, why? He said, because I don't know how to code. I said, eh, hey. so because you, you can code. You believe the society will consider me an illiterate. He said, yes, that anybody who cannot code in the nearest future will be considered an illiterate. <laughs> that was the kind of vision the boy had. Programming actually helps me in maths because I do Python, which is a data science. So I have to do it with a lot of maths. So actually programming has helped me improve the maths. And I also have a very healthy relationship with my classmates. Long G, I heard that he created um, 12 apps. He's very friendly and he loves crowd. Long G is actually a friendly place because he's like he's free. He's ready to help you. He any time you don't understand something like what they are teaching us, he's always there to explain to you and show you what you don't understand. Actually, I would like to thank Elmo because they actually gave me a chance to become better in programming.